Hi friends, welcome to Die.3D Tech YouTube channel. In this today's video, we'll see how to build this SpeedyB Mario drone. So first we'll see what and all parts I'm using here. So as I mentioned, so I'm using SpeedyB Mario. So this is the advanced version. So you can see here SpeedyB Mario 5 frame XH advanced. So this is the frame, advanced frame. Uh, along with that, I purchased the upgrade kit. So in this LED and all will be there. This is the upgrade kit B. Okay. So you can see anyhow we'll build this. So this is the frame. This contain all the parts like parts and uh, yeah. So arms and plates, top and bottom plates and you can see these are the hardware. Okay. So, so this is the XH advanced one and this is the upgrade kit. So in this uh, flight controller case, protection case and LEDs, everything will be there. Okay. So we'll see the build. Okay. So yeah. And for this build, I'm using Zingi Pro 2207, 1800 kV motor because I'm planning to use, uh, for now I'm using 4S. In the future, I'll use 6S. So this is the motor, okay, okay, so these are the low cost and the best motors we can get, okay, so these are the motors I'm using and uh, for this I'm using flight controller, this one Mamba flight controller I'm using, so this is Mamba F722 app flight controller and in that two versions will be there this is the b version okay so you can see here so mamba f722 22 2022b okay this is the version i am using this is the flight controller and esc i am using this this is also same mamba only uh, i am using the F55 BLS D shot uh, 16 uh, 600 ESC I'm using okay so yeah. and uh, VTX I'm using this AKK ultimate this one X2 ultimate this is the one okay this is the VTX I'm using and camera I'm using <coughs> Foxer, Foxer toothless 2 mini half inch sensor, okay, FPV camera. So this is the one I'm using, okay. Next I'm using this Foxer. M10Q 180 GPS with compass one and this receiver I'm using Jep RC one okay Jep RC dual antenna one I'm using okay so dual antenna receiver I'm using This is the ELRS one, okay. So dual antenna, five-inch propellers, okay. T motor, five-inch propellers. I'm using, okay. Yes, that's it. So what I'll do now, I'll uh, assemble this frame and, okay, and I will solder these motors on this ESC, and I'll be back. Okay, so ESCs and the, for the flight controller, camera, receiver and VTX. Okay, everything I will solder, then I will be back. Okay, you can see the process how I'm doing that. Okay, so now I'll assemble the frame. So this is the bottom plate. So these are the arms. So how these arms will come here? See, you can see some holes in this area. Okay, so here one, two, three. 
and here you can see one two three this is where arms will go so that's very simple so it should be like this okay then on top the other arm will come like this okay same thing will be here also okay like this and like this. this is how arms will go and these arms will be locked with this m16 and m12 okay so two m12 so one m12 will come here one m12 will come here m16 one here one here one here one here like that so then you place the screws then you can place this middle plate so on top of that okay then so these screws will come on top right so that is where you will place the spaces like these spaces okay you can place one here one here then one here one here and one in the bottom like that total six spaces will be there so that's how you need to place it okay so i'll just show you how it looks yeah so first you can place the m12 in the center place a shorter one which is M12 like this then this will come on top okay then here M16 will be going here and one volt from this Okay, same thing will be repeated back side. So M12 here, M16 here, then on top this plate will come. So like this, then on top these spaces will go. One here. another one will here same thing back side as well okay so this you do before you place okay so like this you will go. okay you do that so after that i'll be adding two more spaces here and add the guards for these okay this we can add later also fine okay i'll do that then i'll be back okay so now frame is ready uh, bottom i mean almost frame is ready so and uh, this is the camera mount so this is also ready you can see here i place the camera okay so later i will connect this plug okay so now frame is ready so before we place this top plate uh, we need to add the flight controller motors everything so now what i will do i will i will solder the motors uh, on esc and i will connect the esc with flight controller so again on the flight controller i will connect gps and uh, elrs receiver and vtx and camera so all i will solder then i will be back so now we need to solder these motors on this 4 in 1 esc so yeah here you can see the numbers this is two motor number two and one three four like that based on our motor layout uh, we just solder these motor wires here on this esc okay so 
just measure the length how much you want so cut it till where you want like this you can cut it till here like that all motors i will solder on this esc then i'll be back okay so i'll do it for all motors i just cut to this length and i will solder everything on this four in one esc okay so i'll do that then i'll be back okay so i finished the soldering of this uh, esc four motors i shoulder here and uh, here the xt60 connector is uh, here and this is the antenna for um, vtx okay so this i placed here so like this okay so now what we need to do is we need to make sure that everything is proper so for that first we need to connect the battery and check it so everything is proper so there is no short some problem here so we can identify that by connecting to battery but it is not suggested that directly you connect the battery first what you do you use something like short saver so this will help us to identify if any shots okay the pads so that it won't burn the motor and is there any fault in the esc also it won't burn the motor so it will stop power okay so i will check this so i am using this v fly short saver so this is very easy just you connect one side here okay so other side you can connect the battery here okay so it's always better you start with this now you press this button so that it will send the power if any short is there then it will shut the power here that means it won't send any power it will stop it okay it will cut the power so now i'll press this so you can hear the motor sound there is no shot if any shot is there it will turn red okay so currently there is no shot so everything is fine proper okay so yeah <clears throat> so yeah this is what i did so now let's see this flight controller thing so how it is so yeah so this is the flight controller so i solder everything so you can see here this is a gps connector so how i connected i'll show you the picture here so you can follow that and this is the receiver i connected here this is the elrs receiver okay so this is the elrs receiver i connected and these are the leds and uh, this is the this is for vtx cable and this is for the camera so everything is connected so this is the power from this esc to this so now let's see if there is any shot in this will identify so make sure it is fine first check this one then you connect this to this then check it okay so now i'm connecting so first you check the esc then you connect the stack so that now we are, we can confirm that there is no short in the esc so if there is any short in this then it will stop okay so we can come to conclusion like okay some problem here in the soldering so now i'll connect this and see okay so i'll press this button so here you can see everything is powered up okay yeah so now everything is fine so now we need to place these things on the frame so how you can place i'll just show you so yeah so in the upgrade kit b you will find this stack protector so place this one here okay so these are the strap protector so you can install these things yeah so this will go like this so first what we will do I'm just disconnecting this
okay so you can see here capacitor is there so this capacitor will come here okay so you can place it like this then okay so this will be closing before that you will place the motors here okay like this I'll just remove this okay so like this then all these motors will be shoulder here i mean mount using mount screws like this on top you will place this one okay so you can see the direction orientation place it okay then uh, you can place remaining parts here and give the connection for the camera gps and vtx everything you will give it and place it then we'll close the top cover okay so i will do that then i'll be back okay so now everything is done so you can see here gps placed here okay you can see here gps is placed here and this whole setup came in the front by adding attaching through these screws okay and this is the camera and uh, yeah this is where you will connect the x360 connector and these are the antennas so so from here you can see your receiver light okay yeah set then um, yeah vtx inside this case okay so because i used upgrade kit b b upgrade kit so i'll get this and this so flight controller will be inside this and the vtx will be inside this okay so yeah so this is what and uh, this is where i can place my action camera okay so gps i placed here for the time being okay like this <clears throat> so yeah so i'll just check it once like everything is proper or not i checked before now also i'll check once like if any wires touching and any shot is there then we can identify okay before we go to the beta flight configuration so i'm using the shot saver okay so it's really handy so useful it will save your electronics from the shot okay <coughs> so i connected now i'll press this button so that it will send the power so yeah it's fine so now we can go to beta flight and we can configure this okay so we'll see how we can do that and uh, yeah maybe you get a doubt like how you can access to usb so you closed everything right so we closed everything so you can see here you can see the usb here right yeah i'll just take it close see right so to access this one it's very easy just unscrew this one so that it will come like a door so you can connect the usb okay so that way i will connect my usb and i'll configure in uh, beta flight okay so yeah let's go to beta flight and we'll configure this okay <laughs> 